Energy reboot is a spiritual practice that I do multiple times a day. In fact, every hour that I work, I do the energy reboot at least several times. It has made a profound and positive difference in my level of joyful productivity over the years. So what I'm going to do is to first show you the exercise and then I will explain each part of it. First thing I do is to place my hands on my heart. And essentially, we're going to do several deep and gentle breaths together. So if you'd like to follow along, hands on the heart, breathe in, breathe out, and think, thank you for having brought me here through all the ups and downs. Thank you so much. And keep breathing, of course, as I go along. We don't have to do the exact same number of breaths. All right, now hands to the stomach or where I can feel my breath going in and out. If I breathe deeply, hands on the stomach, breathe in gently and out. Thank you that you will bring me through everything all the ups and downs coming up, you will bring me all the way home. Thank you. Now, what I do is place my arms to my side in an open receiving posture, as you'll see in the video, I basically place my hands open out like this. Deep breaths. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the support. Now I bring my arms all the way up above my head and do a big, nice stretch upward. Thank you for this moment of practice. And arms down, back down gently to the side and for giving me everything that I need for this moment of practice. That's it. So when I'm actually doing it multiple times an hour, it only takes about 30 seconds each time. And that is really important because the practice is so quick to do, I am much more likely to do it often. And it's by doing such a practice so often throughout the day that my life changes. So if we are really committed to a higher quality of living and working, then we can't afford not to do a practice like this throughout the day. I know that some people enjoy meditating or praying or journaling once or twice a day, maybe in the morning and in the evening. And that is a wonderful kind of more intensive practice. But what I have found the most life-changing, truly changing the way I bring the kind of spirit and attitude that I bring to every hour of work to be able to get unstuck at a moment's notice, to be able to do the hard things and not procrastinate. How do I do any of that? It's by doing my energy reboot practice at the beginning of each work session and several more times during the work session. The only exception is when I'm in a meeting, then I don't do my energy reboot, but I still am aware of my breathing sometimes throughout the meeting, I'll be aware. And as I exhale, I'll be exhaling, you know, with a thought of gratitude or with a thought of um, support, uh, something or a thought of healing, something like that. So this energy reboot I've been doing since Gosh, it's been at least five years that I've done this every single day, multiple times a day. You may have uh, watched another video of mine from several years ago when I taught the first version of the Energy Reboot. And I did that first version for several years. This, what I've just shown you, is the second version of the Energy Reboot. And I've been doing this second version consistently for about six months. And it's one that I really enjoy now. If you haven't yet 
tried the first version, that is actually a really good place to start. Um, you can try both versions and see what you resonate with. Um, but for you know whatever reason, that first version was really important for me to, to do several years first. And then now I'm doing the second version and it's and it's I feel like it's a nice follow on to that. So let me explain what I just did and sort of the philosophy behind it. So first of all, the fact that we are deeply breathing is some and, and I'm consciously deeply breathing several times an hour is more than most people. Uh, I think a lot of people grew through their days without being aware that they are breathing in a very shallow way and not breathing deeply is not good for the brain. It's not good for your energy, essentially, both physically and emotionally, mentally, and you might even say spiritually. So even the simple practice of deep breathing, which both versions of the energy reboot had you know, deep breathing is just going to be helpful, uh, period, even if you don't add any movements or, or thoughts to it. But then I think the movements and the thoughts bring additional power to, to, to this practice. So as you, as you saw, the movements that we're doing, it kind of reminds me of what the, what the segments of the energy reboot are, you know, hands to heart, feel the heartbeat, hands to, to the belly, feel the breathing, uh, a posture of receiving hands on the side stretching also of course is good for your physical energy and your flexibility and uh, just you know staying healthy and balanced and then of course down to you know relax when I when I put my arms down I did mention I usually do some kind of like relaxing uh, gesture to my shoulders and to my neck so it's just even if we look at it on a physical level this energy reboot, it's just a healthy balancing practice to do several times an hour. Like I said, it's how frequently I do it that has changed my life. It's not the fact, the energy, the, the practice itself it may, may be powerful, but it's, it's actually quite subtle. But it's the repetition of doing it dozens of times every day that, made, that has made me a different person today. It has like physio, I feel it's both physiologically changed me, but also mentally, emotionally, and spiritually changed me into a much more productive, a joyfully productive person. So those are the physical reasons why we do those things. Now, let me describe the, the thoughts that go into each breath. So when I said, thank you for having brought me here, I am thinking about God. And now you can, some of you, may really resonate with the word God. Some of you may be turned off by the word God. If you are turned off by the word God, just use another word, source, universe, life, higher self, consciousness, spirit guide, support team, however you want to use, choose a word that, that feels really good to you, that you feel is of real spiritual support and use that word or, or phrase. Uh, when I, you know, when you think about thank you or thank God or whatever. So I, I say, thank you for having brought me here. This is, if you look at your life right now, it's a miracle. You have been through so much in your life, all the, you know, perhaps some trauma, all kinds of different kinds of trauma, major and minor um, difficulties, challenges, uh, unexpected uh, situations that you know, have changed your life, put it in a different direction. Um, you've been brought through it all. That's the fact. You are here now. And isn't that a lot to be grateful for, that you have been brought here to this moment now through all the ups and downs, right? So that's what the first breath is about. It's just an acknowledgement. And I really, when I take that first breath of gratitude, I really try to feel sometimes almost tearfully that I have been brought here to this moment through all the challenges, through everything, uh, you know, that just like, it's almost like, and, and because I do this practice so often, like I said, dozens of, dozens of times a day, right? Just every hour, three to five times when I'm having a difficult project, when I'm facing a difficult thing that I don't want to be doing, I, I, I sometimes do the energy reboot every five to 10 minutes. I really do. I do it as often as I need to because it takes 30 seconds and it immediately shifts me into the mindset of gratitude and possibility and strength and love. So even brought here, 
it's like when I when I give that when I give thanks for having been brought here, I I often sometimes say I not why well, sometimes say, you see God, you've brought me here again. I mean, you've brought me through again, again, again. It's like constantly reminded, like look, I've been brought through yet again. This week, you know, um, a couple of days ago was a very challenging day, but yet right now, I've been brought through yet again. Isn't that amazing? It's a miracle. So yet again, it's like almost proving to myself. It's, it strengthens my faith. But see, God, God has brought me through yet again, yet again, yet again. And that repetition is very strengthening to my faith. And then the second breath that, thank you that you will bring me through all of it, right? Just like God has brought me through to this very moment, of course, God is going to bring me through every ups and up and down throughout the rest of my life. It's all going to be fine. I'm going to be brought through all of it, all the way home. So it's a statement of trust and faith, gratitude, uh, security, complete, utter security. There's nothing to fear because I will be brought through and you will be brought through. You will be brought through all the ups and downs. You will absolutely make it all the way through. Nothing at all to fear. And then the third breath and the third gesture, third thought is thank you for the healing and support. And at this moment, I am imagining my spirit guide putting there, I don't know if it's male or female, I'm not, that, I'm not that spiritually aware and sensitive, but I imagine my spiritual support team. I actually, I, I, I literally believe this now. I don't know what you believe. Please let me know what you believe below if you, if you would like. But I literally believe there's a spiritual support team right around me that I can't see. They're invisible right now. But I imagine that they're, they're all putting their, you know, kind of like their, their reassuring, kind hands on my shoulders, like everyone together, like they're putting their hands on my shoulders with, for that third gesture. And I just thank them for healing my entire body through and through. Uh, if, if there's a particular phys uh, physical challenge I'm going through uh, at the moment, you know, maybe, maybe it's my eyes or my ears or my heart or my lungs or whatever I'm feeling that needs extra healing, my brain, whatever it may be, um, as I thank them for the healing of the third breath, I'll particularly thank them for healing that part of my body. So literally, isn't it's amazing. And ever since I've been doing the second version of Energy Reboot, I haven't gotten sick. It's been at least six months. Um, and I used to get sick a lot, actually. Uh, well, ever since I started doing Energy Reboot, I did get, I've gotten sick less and less over time. But especially the last six months, I've been, I've been very healthy. And um, I don't know, I, I, I think it has something to do with it, feeling healing energy dozens of times a day, even for, for one second, I think makes a difference. Who knows? It doesn't hurt. And by the way, when I breathe out and feel the healing energy, I practice it so much that I can simulate the feeling of tingles, shivers, and little goosebumps for like half a second when I feel it and imagine it. And I don't know if the shivers and goosebumps, I'm probably manufacturing that with my mind, you know, because I can feel that now, but I'm just imagining, I'm using faith. That's what faith is. It's imagination in the right direction. That's what I define faith as. It's imagination in a helpful, positive direction, right? So I'm using my powers of imagination that connecting my shivers to the physical healing that's happening. So that's my third breath. I thank them for the healing. Sometimes I thank them for the support and the kindness that they are so hardworking. Can you imagine your, your, your spiritual guides, my spiritual team? They are so hardworking. They're working like 24 seven. They like never rest. They, I guess they don't have to rest. I don't know. Maybe they do rest. I don't know. But they're so hardworking, like all the time they're on the job is I can always call out to them, you know, and you can too with your spiritual team, right? That's the third breath. The fourth breath is when I stretch up and I think I, I thank God for this moment of practice. And what do I mean? What I mean by that? Every moment of work and life is a moment of practice. Sometimes I call it a training moment. I believe the purpose of life, I know that's very nuanced and, and, and complex topic, but I believe the purpose of life is growth. A purpose of life is simultaneously growth as well as acceptance of the profound love that's with us at all times. It's like it's like that dance between between the yin and the yang. It's like yin, the acceptance and receiving of the unconditionally amazing, like 
if you only knew you would break down in tears on the floor in a puddle forever kind of love, at the yin side and the yang side of purpose is growth and courage and virtue and learning and you know, ex, you know, expanding our consciousness and all that stuff. So I think it's both, but, but I thank, I thank God when I stretch for this moment of practice, this is a moment of practicing growth or practicing receiving whatever I need in that moment. But it's a moment of practice, practicing 1% better for this task that I'm doing, you know, the different ways I think about practice. So that's the fourth breath. And then finally the fifth breath, as I bring my arms down is to thank God for giving me everything I need for this moment of practice. There's nothing that I'm called to do this hour, this next 20 minutes, this next five minutes that I have not been given the resource to do. So everything, that's why I don't procrastinate, you know, not anymore. Whatever hard thing I do, I show up, I do my energy reboot and I know that even if it's hard, even if it's confusing, even though I don't know what it's gonna turn into, I've been given what I need to in this moment to move it forward, just whatever I can do in that moment. So I hope this is helpful. Um, if you, uh, you know, want to modify this practice, please feel free. It's not copyrighted. <laughs> it's not patented. It's just something that helps me. And maybe parts of it will help you too. So please do feel free to modify the, the words that are said, the gestures that are done, um, how many breaths you're taking, how you're taking those breaths. But really the key is breaths and thought aligned for about 30 seconds, multiple times an hour. This is, again, I will, I will end with this. It is so important that you're not just meditating once or twice a day, that you're meditating. Uh, so, so I work, what, seven, eight hours a day, seven, uh, maybe like seven hours a day. So seven times at least three times an hour that I do. So I do this energy reboot at least 21. That's not true because I, I'm in some meetings on some, but, but in the, when I'm, when I'm working, so not all seven hours are by myself. So sometimes I'm, I'm in meetings. So let's say I'm working by myself for about four to five hours a day. So you know, about at least a dozen, four times three, I, I usually do the energy reboot at least three times an hour, usually ends up being more like five, six times an hour. So let's say I'm averaging four, four times. So I do this energy at least 16 times a day, at least 16 times a day. So what about you? How often do you do your 30 second spiritual practice? Because if you're not doing it that frequently, it's like, no wonder you feel lethargic about procrastinating, feeling stuck, feeling anxious. I'm, I'm not downplaying those things, but I'm, I'm saying that you don't have to, it's always a choice. Whether you want to keep feeling procrastinating, anxious, um, resisting something that's going to move your business forward, right? It's, you know, it's like there's nothing you can't do if you just take it step by step and if you just spend enough time doing it. That's it. That's like the, the path of success. It's just to take everything step by step to spend enough time doing stuff, useful, important things that usually you want to procrastinate on because it's not the, the definition of a purposeful and growth activity is something that you haven't yet done excellently before. And so of course you're going to procrastinate and resist because you, you're afraid of failure. But if you do this kind of energy reboot or whatever it is that you do, you won't be afraid of failure or at least you won't let it get you stuck. You'll just keep moving because you know that whatever it is, you'll always be taken care of. That's the key. For me, anyway, that's that's how I can keep moving forward in my business year after year after year. You see me show up time after time. It's not a hamster wheel. It's not because this energy reboot helps me bring joy and grace and love and beauty to every hour of work because I'm. it's just an hour of practice. It's an hour of practice connecting to God, source, higher self-consciousness, pick your term, it's an hour of practicing connecting to God and bringing more, a little bit more of Godness, uh, sourceness, uh, consciousness into the th third dimensional reality that we're all participating in here. So it's just bringing a little bit more heaven to earth 16 times a day. And therefore, not surprisingly, my life is like heaven today. I really am grateful. I was like, I don't need to go to heaven. This is heaven. 
this, my life is amazing, right? I get to do, I have a great business. I have an amazing clients and students and friends. I mean, it's, it's astounding. I, I, I have tapped my creativity. I know how to tap my creativity on demand now because it's not, it's not, uh, it's being able to overcome procrastination at any moment. I mean, that's true power, right? And that's, that's heaven. Heaven is true, authentic power that you can call forth at a moment's notice to create, to, to love, to help, to serve, to grow. So I hope this is helpful. And let me know if you modify this practice and let me know what modification you bring to it below because others who are watching this maybe may find it helpful. But most importantly, go and practice this 16 times or more per day and it will change your life over the next few years. Your, your life will become like heaven every day. All right. I wish you well. Um, my name is George Cao. That's K-A-O. And uh, I love talking about how do we essentially bring heaven into our business more and more day by day. So go and do the practice, whatever practice works for you like this. And I wish you well. <laughs>